Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic Hi everyone! This is Joelle Fawcett. I am the founder of The Soul Method. And this is the video that I promised you in the last episode of The Soul Method podcast, which was titled Deal With Yourself where I described emotional freedom technique or tapping. I promised a video that would physically show you the different tapping points on the body because even though I talked about it in that video and described it, I really wanted to give you a video to physically show you the points that you're using for this technique. So just a little bit of review. Emotional freedom technique is also abbreviated as EFT or called tapping. And it is a combination of traditional Chinese acupressure with modern psychology. And what we are doing in a tapping session, whether you're doing this on yourself or you're attending a session with a coach or a therapist is you are tapping on meridian points of your body that connect to the emotional centers of your brain. Okay. Now a meridian point is simply an end point of an energetic pathway. So Chinese, um, traditional Chinese acupuncture and acupressure is all based on these meridians, meridian points and pathways where pressure or those teeny teeny needles will be applied to the end points of pathways that correspond to it mostly internal parts of the body parts of the body that we can't physically get at so like the brain the heart lungs intestines all these internal places so now why tapping is important and i really want to emphasize this because the reality is it's kind of, it's a little weird, you know, it kind of looks funny. You're doing this, this dance. Um, however, I have to be honest that nothing in my life has been as effective and as fast at completely transforming my emotional state as this technique. So that's why I talk about a lot, it a lot in the podcast and I still use it regularly today now, like three and a half, almost four years later. Okay. So, um, this is why this is so effective. Uh, when we are tapping, like I said, we are connecting with that emotional place of the brain. That place of the brain is called the amygdala. It is in what we call the subconscious part of the brain. And it's really close to the brain stems, kind of like back here. And it is a part of the limbic system of the body. This is the part of the brain that is responsible for the fight, flight, or freeze response. It is also the part of the brain that is responsible for the emotions we feel. Okay. It is completely different than the cerebral cortex, which is up here, the big part of the brain up here. The cerebral cortex is responsible for decision making, rational thought, planning, planning ahead, you know, thinking about things that have happened in the past. The cerebral cortex is the part of the brain that has a sense of time. Okay, the cerebral cortex works in language. That's how we speak to one another as human beings. Okay. Now, here's the rub. The amygdala part of the brain that's responsible for that instinctual fight, flight, and freeze response, as well as a part of that emotional center of the brain that, you know, controls all the emotions that we feel, it does not understand language. Okay. Now, the important piece of this is that a lot of times when we go to a therapist in Western culture, we participate in what's called talk therapy, which is where you go, you see somebody and you talk about what's going on in your life and they give you feedback based on their professional experience and their education. And that is, you know, 
I've been to a lot of talk therapy in my life and it's amazing. If it's, if it works for you, don't stop. Okay. I'm not saying anything against talk therapy. However, what I am acknowledging is that speaking in language with somebody else will not directly affect the amygdala and subconscious parts of the brain because those parts of the brain do not speak in language. Okay, it simply does not understand language. You know, this is also why um, <laughs> if you ask somebody why they love their spouse or why do you love your kids? Why do you enjoy your friends? The responses that we say often make no sense at all, right? Um, like in the movies, like you complete me. That's why I love this person, right? Or I just love my kids because they're so cute and they're like my mini me. And, um, or, you know, I just love her because she makes me food and, you know, cuddles with me and all this stuff, right? It makes no sense. That's no actual real reason to love and or not love somebody, right? Um, but when we say these things, um, listening, we'll be like, oh yeah, like that totally makes sense. Like I get that, right? Because we have this shared human experience of emotions not needing to make sense and we just communicate them the absolute best way that we can, right? Um, this is also why if you've ever been super frustrated that the way that you feel makes no sense at all, this is okay. So like ladies out there, if you ever feel a little crazy, it's all right. doesn't have to make sense. doesn't give you the right to be a bitch, but right? It doesn't have to make sense. It's okay. These things, um, the rational thought is completely separate from where we're feeling and processing our emotions. So back to tapping. That's why this technique or other techniques like it, there's lots of different emotional based techniques that um, connect with the subconscious parts of the brain, not just tapping. I like tapping because it works very quickly and you can come out of a tapping session physically feeling different after 20 minutes of tapping. Okay. That's for me, it's unlike anything I've ever found before. And it completely transformed my relationship with myself as well as my relationships with everyone in my life. So let's get into it. Tapping points. First point is called the karate chop point and it's the side of the palm, the pinky blade of the palm in this fleshy part right here. Okay, now you can do one or the other, doesn't matter, does not have to be the same at the same time. The meridian points run down both sides of the body. Okay, pick what works for you right here. The next point is right on the side of the eyes. So this is not the temples. We're not back here. It's the side of the eyes right here. Okay, next point is on the cheekbone. Next point is between the nose and the upper chin in that dip right there on your face. The next point is between your lower lip and your chin in that dip. The next point is you're going to find these two bones on your collarbone go down and out just a little bit and you'll you'll feel the muscle there right there the next point is under the armpit right here ladies this will be right on your bra line tap 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 and finally the last point is right on the top of your head in the center okay now I know that's a lot. And here's the thing with all of this. You do not have to use every point. They do not have to go in a certain order. Okay. So don't like get caught up in your head trying to do it right. Okay. That's, that's not what we want to get into. As you practice with this, you're going to find the points that work the best for you. The ones that are the most seamless for you and the ones that connect the most for you. For me, I most of the time use the one on the side of my eyes top of my cheeks, and then right here. Okay. So again, don't get caught up in trying to do it right or being worried about that. It's going to work either way. Now, when you go into a tapping session, like I talked about in 
uh, episode four, often what you identify as the emotion that's up for you, what's the most present for you, is a surface layer of something that's underneath. Okay, like in that episode, um, I talked about one of the first times I did tapping with my coach and what the, what a, ah, excuse me, when I started that session with her, what was really up for me was a lot of anxiety and frustration that I was experiencing. However, as we peeled the onion layers back and went into that emotion and went deeper, what we found was a lot of sadness and anger. And so as you go through this process, be an investigator with yourself, with your own emotions. Look for what's underneath of what's going on for you right now. Okay. Now, if you have a lot of stuff, you know, if you've had a lot happen in your childhood or a lot of life experience, I really recommend working with a coach or a therapist the first time you do this so that they can really create the energetic environment for you. They can hold the space and do the tapping so that you can just be with what you're feeling and feel really safe to go into those deeper emotional places. If you are going to do it yourself, practice ahead of time with the different tapping meridian points and find the ones that work the best for you so that you aren't kind of getting caught in your head trying to think about like what's next you know you want it to be pretty seamless so that you can be with your emotions so all of that being said if you have questions about this definitely reach out to me or please sh you know if you try this and you have an experience with it, tell me, you know, share with me what happened for you. What was your experience? I would really, really love to connect with you guys. You can find me on the Soul Method Facebook page, or you can email me, joelle, J-O-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, at thesoulmethod.com. And in the description of this video, there will be links for the website as well as the Facebook page. So I hope you all are having an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.